negative $3,970 in my checking account. And I was like, <sighs> mm, okay, all right, okay, all right. We're just gonna like get right into this because <laughs> girl crystals you know hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kayla Arne hey ha hiya there so let's just hop into this girl because I have some tea low-key wanted to make some tea but I'm like I, I just need to I'm already hot <laughs> drinking the tea would be like Make me even hotter. But okay, anywho. So this video, Hunt Tea, girl, is two months <laughs> long overdue. A lot has been going on in two months. And I'm just here to just tell it all because, you know, why not? You see me touching my hat, it's because I'm working with two. <laughs> so let me just jump into this and buy the title. As you can see, I got scammed. I got scammed. Kayla got scammed. Okay. So, oh, and yeah, if you peep the thumbnail, negative $3,970. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, last October, October 2019, I started job hunting. And I was already working at my job that I was at for like two and a half years. And I was job hunting and I was on Indeed. Y'all know Indeed. If you know Indeed, if you've ever applied for a job on Indeed, like thumbs up this video because we're all in this together. Okay, anywho, so I applied for this job and it was a job as a personal assistant for like a pastor at a church or something. Y'all, okay, it's gonna sound real crazy. It's gonna sound real like wild, but just, <laughs> just listen. So, and it, my duties were to be like working with orphanages and um, like ordering stuff for the kids and yada, yada, yada. So, hmm. they reached out to me um, back in October 2019 and I never heard anything. And then so fast forward to June 2020 this year, they reached out to me again and was like, hey, we have a part-time position open as the assistant and everything what I just told you about the orphanage and all that stuff. Long story short, they offered me the position and I was like, okay. And I did research and it was, um, I had to, no, 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 I looked up the bank that they say that they use for like their payroll and everything. And y'all, the bank was a Christian based bank, okay? So that right there, I was like, hmm, like this is nice. I'm already like, you know, funds are a little, I could use the extra money, work from home. By the way, it was a work from home job. It was one of them scamming type things. Okay, anywho, so I'm like, okay. So part of it was, they send me a check and that check I use to order whatever's needed for the orphanages. And then part of the check is for mine to keep as my paycheck. So I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> First off, I just wanna say like, the fact that I'm filming this video, girl, girl. <laughs> All right, so I receive a check for $3,970. I deposited the check in my bank account. Now my bank has e-deposit, so I took a picture of the check on my phone. Mind you, I didn't give out any of my like banking or social security information or anything like that. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not that, you know. <laughs> I um, received the check, now I mobile deposited the check into my bank, okay? My bank approves the check, okay? So I'm like, okay, cool, rent's paid, what else we got, car stuff paid, just bills are being paid, okay? I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm like, wow. Oh, mind you, my boss, first name is Faith, okay? So I just knew this was just like, I was like, wow, Christian-based bank, for church, for orphanage, orphanage, and the person's name is Faith? Girl. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you. The moral of this story, before we even go further, is the devil works hard, but God 
works harder, okay? <laughs> he don't even gotta worry, like he just does it because he's just, you know, God. Okay, anyhow, so in, in the state I was in at that time, I was just, like I said, like funds were a little tight and bills were just accumulating and I was just like low-key desperate for some money. Now, mind you, being desperate, I mean, it's not, we're gonna get into that, we're gonna get into that. Okay, so I deposited the check and I started like paying off, you know, my bills or whatever. And then um, two days, no, it was like three days later, I go to GNC to buy one of my favorite energy drinks by Alainu and my card declined. I'm like, it's only two dollars. What you mean my card declined? So like, I look at my um, account and honey, <laughs> girl. Okay, so it said negative three thousand nine hundred seventy dollars in my checking account, and I was like, <sighs> mm, Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What do I say? I don't know. I don't know. I um, Did I break down in the car? Yes, I did. Of course I did. I was just like, whoa. Okay. Mind you, and that was back when I was like starting or really like really, really into my spiritual awakening or whatever. So I was just like, immediately I was like, okay. Thank God for that, by the way, because if it wasn't for that, if my mental wasn't in a good place, uh, hmm. Okay, so I just immediately was just like, okay, <laughs> God, I, I know you're always on my side. I know you're always working for me and in my favor. I know it's always a plan, okay? I was just like, this is just a little overwhelming. Just, you know, just <laughs> mind you, I'm not gonna lie. The whole job and me interacting with like the boss and all that stuff, it was sketchy. I knew it was weird. I knew it was weird. I wasn't just being dumb. I wasn't like being, I don't know. It was kind of like a thing where I just wanted to see how far I could go with it. Like I wanted to really see if it was like, I was trying to be open-minded with it. Cause I was like, you know, I don't want to like be blocking my own blessing, like judging this and, you know, coming to find out it's like a great thing, but really it's like my gut, you know, your gut instinct who knows more than you do. Um, I ignored her and I was just testing the flow. I was just testing the waters and I just kept going on and on and on. Mind you, don't ever test God, okay? Another thing I want to say, when you're in a low, not really low, because I wasn't like low, I was just desperate and pressed for money and so when you're already feeling a little desperate a little vulnerable that's when the devil likes to that's when the enemy likes to get you and that's when he likes to like take advantage of you and like dangle money in your face you know money is not evil at all money is a great thing money everything that you're looking at in your room probably your whatever screen you're looking at through it's worth money like money is a great thing however in the Bible, it states money is the root of all evil, and um, <clears throat> that's 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 what he, um, the enemy, did to. I have an account of negative basically four thousand dollars, and I'm just like I, I mm. it, it was more so like I was, it's ne I've never experienced anything like that before, and I guess you could say I was more so like in shock. I was just like, okay, Kayla, you did this to yourself. It's time to just figure something out. So the first thing I do is I call my bank and they let me know that it was the check bounced because it was fraud. So it was a fraud check, I deposited a fraud check. Now I let them know what happened, like, oh, like I got scams, like da 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 da. Of course, oh, of course I reached out to Faith and um, like who I was speaking to as far as like the job or whatever, no response number just is doesn't work is is just like i was like okay this is legit okay clearly they that this is just a scam like it, it is what it is so i called my bank and i told them what happened but because they said that i authorized the check there's nothing that they can do about it so i'm like well you guys approved it like you guys approved the money and um the lady was like well it takes three days for banks to 
um, you know, like verify the other account number that's on the check. Sorry, this chair is like kind of crooked and it's blowing. All right, whatever. She told me that it takes three days for banks to like verify the other bank or whatever. So yeah, and they said because I signed off on it, it's not considered fraud. Fraud is only if you don't authorize the transaction. So I was just like, okay, oh. <laughs> and then she told me to get a lawyer and I was like, okay. All right, I got about, you know, negative $4,000, you know, to pay for the lawyer, you know. Oh, another thing, four days later, my grandma passed. So, I, mm, once, once that happened, when my grandma passed, my account was not in my head. I was not thinking about my account, none of that. <laughs> and so, mind you, oh, this was July 31st. This was July 31st when my account went negative and my grandma passed on her birthday on August 4th. And it was just like, that right there in itself, like I'm sure you can imagine my account, like that was far gone and way, way back in my head. Like I just became numb to that. I wasn't thinking about my account. Like I was just like, okay. I was getting paid that week, so I let my job know like, hey, can you stop the direct deposit? Like going through a little bit some, some, some. I just need a heart check. <laughs> and they did that. They were really great with that. So. I have money for that, like as far as my physical check. But anywho, I got negative four thousand dollars in the bank in my bank account. Okay, my bank did let me know like the account will automatically close after sixty days. <sighs> Y'all, let me just say <laughs> it's September. I don't know what yesterday was. It was September. Uh... Yesterday was Friday, September twenty fifth. Okay. So the beginning of September, like a month after my grandma passed, I'm finally like, okay, like this is a new way of life. Like I'm able to finally, like I'm just starting to live my new normal. So because it has been 30 days, you know, since the account went into negative, I mean, I'm gonna just be honest, not really um, much uh, got paid um, because uh, yeah. And <laughs> thank God for my family because Oh, I didn't say anything to anybody for two months. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. And my boyfriend, super helpful. He didn't ask no questions. He just figured, you know, I'm just going through a little something, something, something. So he was helping me out. And, you know, I was just living life with a negative bank account. And <laughs> I'm just going to say I survived off of an overdrawn bank account for two months. I have my own apartment, I have my own car, I have my own bills. Everything that I have, I bought myself. Everything that I have is Kayla, everything. And I did it for two months with no money in the bank, you know? And it's like little blessings here and there. For instance, my boyfriend's parents, they went vegetarian for like two weeks. So they had all this like veggie burgers and like veggie sauce and just, you know, veggie meat. And when they were done, they, were, they had all this, like, this bag of food and was like, hey, do you um, want this? I'm like, heck, yes. <laughs> you have no idea. Thank you. <laughs> when that happened, I was just like, wow, okay. We're going to figure this out. This, this is going to be okay. Mind you, families in and out of town, like, nobody knew because I didn't let it, like, I couldn't. I couldn't let it get, I just couldn't let it consume me. Like there was no way. My grandma just passed. That's already like a mind boggling thing right there. So I, I was just like, I'm, listen, every day was a new day. Don't know what today's bringing. I'm just going with the flow type thing. And in the beginning of the month, oh, okay. So after a month or so, that's when like, I'm starting to like really calm down and be like, okay, like, all right, so this new life of ours we got a new life to live so i'm getting into the swing of things but as soon as september 1st hits all the bills start calling me at once now i'm like okay 30 days already went by they told me i have 60 days until it closes i have another 30 days well mind you it's september 2nd i have until the 29th Monday the 28th for real because as of the 29th it will be closed. So I have until Monday the 28th and it's like I don't, I, I, I just don't know. So with that in the back of my mind and then with the billing, the billing companies and the bills like calling me all at once, 
I am starting to freak out. Y'all, I was so close to spiraling, but I did not spiral. I, I, I didn't, because I was like, I've come too far working on myself. Like, so much has happened. No, mm -mm. nope. There's other people that are going through way worse things than I am. We just had a service for her mother who just went to heaven. You think I'm about to tell my mom? No, absolutely not. Mm -mm. Nope. So I was just, it was just something that I was going through internally like nobody knew like I did I it's I felt like I got myself there so it was up to me to figure it out on September 2nd I was on the phone with my dad and before we got off the phone he ended up saying like all right and you know with your account you know don't forget like be careful yada 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 and I was like okay so my boyfriend looks at me and he's like what are you talking about mind you when I first got the job of course, I told him and everything. He did have some speculations, but he was more so like, okay, like use your better judgment. Like he felt some, he felt a little weird about the job too. But um, yeah, anywho. So I ended up telling him and he really made me realize like, you know, like dang, like you've been battling with this for two months by yourself. You didn't tell nobody. Like you can't do that. Like you, I have a bomb family y'all. Like I have a great family and with this, he made me and helps me realize like, family's not just for good times, family's for tough times. Like we went through one of the hardest times together. And then it's like, that's what we have each other for, to like uplift each other and just be there for each other as your support. Cause nobody got you like your family. And there's so many people who don't have a family like I do. And I just, I can't imagine. So it's like, I'm super grateful for that. And he made me realize like, these are the type of things that like you tell your loved ones so yeah like you know he was like it's september 2nd like what if you would have told us this back in july everything would have been fixed by now like you would have had your money back everything would have been good and so i was just like okay and on top of it because i was bottling it up it started coming out in little spurts like i would literally like one night i was just in my room chilling y'all chilling on youtube just playing candy crush he comes in the room just, you know, checks on me. He's like, hey, what's up? You good? Y'all, I lost it. <laughs> I just started bawling. And I was just like, I mean, I thought I was good. Like, I was just crying. And I couldn't tell him, like, why I was upset. Because I didn't know I was upset when really I was upset because I was stressed out. But because I was trying to, like, not really ignore it. I was just trying to, like, trying so hard to not let the stress get to me. It was just building up. And it was just coming out in, like, little random burst of breakdowns and that's not healthy that's not good that's not good at all so when I first told him while I started talking about it and like what happened I was like it felt so good after like I felt relief like yeah I was like crying and stuff while I was talking about it but I mean it was after two months I'm finally like realizing what the heck just happened like I just got in the hole so badly I freaking got scammed like <laughs> And it just made me realize, like, I will never take money for granted. Oh, let me tell you how everything got better. <laughs> so, like I said, I had 60 days. I had up until the Monday the 28th, which is in two days, to get the account um, up to date fully before it... Uh... So once I started, you know, speaking up and, like, really, like, facing what happened... Um, like my family really just helped me it was like, you know, you can't be ashamed of yourself You can't feel so bad of yourself. You're like, you don't know what you're doing You need help and you need to ask for help and so long story short like my family God bless them really, you know, of course like helps me out or whatever and just so thankful and yesterday Friday the 25th like I still had a thousand dollar balance basically to get the account back up to date and I had three days to do it. Thursday night, I was just sitting there. I was just like, you know what? If it don't happen, like if the account get closed, it gets closed. Like at this point, I'm just going with the flow. I'm trusting God. Like I can't stress, like it's whatever he says it's gonna happen. It's, it, I have to just be accepted of it. And I just had faith that like everything was gonna work out. Literally, that's all I had to do. Like there's nothing else I could do. I didn't know where or how I was gonna get the remaining money, but I just, left it up to him, prayed about it, and I just accepted the fact, I understood what was going on, and then I was just taking a day at a time. So yesterday morning, Friday morning, I 
woke up and just, you know, having a normal day. I'm like, hmm, it's another day closer to Monday. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. And I don't know where I'm being offered the money. I don't know where I'm just being offered the money. And when I tell you guys that I freaking cried so hard, I was dancing, I was jumping, I was like on my knees, I was in the mirror, I was just holding and kissing the Bible. I was just like, wow, like God is so good. When I saw my account <laughs> get to the positive from the negative in a day, y'all, I had 60 days to get my account up to date before it closed and it got up to date on the 57th day, on the 57th day. So it's like, I'm just so incredibly blessed and like, I'm so thankful. I put all my trust into God. Like I kept my faith. Like I didn't let it eat me alive. Like I didn't have no money for two months and I didn't let that, you know, so much has happened. Like, <laughs> and I was manifesting the day that I get to sit down and tell this story. Of course, I didn't want to tell you guys without everything being fixed. Cause it's like, I mean, come on now, but the fact that I'm sitting here and I'm finally filming this and explaining my story and my experience on what happened and just how much I've learned and grown in two months, like I'm really excited, like I cannot stop crying. Thank you so much for my loving family who all like helped me out and just, <sighs> mm. that's a lot of money to just be fixed just like that. On the 57th day, if this story doesn't like remind you or like help you believe in God or just, I don't know y'all, but he he does like insane things. Not insane in a bad way, like he does miraculous things. Like, and it, like look what happened. Two weeks ago, I was just sobbing on the bed, not knowing what to do. Like I got all this stuff to pay for, like I, I don't, like I don't know what to do. Two weeks later, boom, everything's just clear. That just made me like, I will never take money for granted. Like, I will never be desperate and let the devil like take over. And I know he's pissed off. He's really upset. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to tell this story. I hope it helped anybody out in some way. If you're going through like anything major at this time, just keep going. Do not give up. Do not let it consume you. Do not dwell on it. Like, how do you move forward if you're dwelling on the past? If you're holding on to the past, you can't move forward. So much has happened, and the fact that I'm just sitting here, like, feeling so happy, like, I have so much gratitude. I'm not gonna keep going because, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. It's only up from here, y'all. It's only up from here, like, I'm so happy. But I hope you like this video, thumbs it up, leave me a comment, ask me questions, I don't know, anything, but I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And turn on the notification bell too because you know we got. Yes! I love you!